Hi everybody, this is Dr. John Pitts from the Centennial Shelves Clinic. Uh, and this month we've been talking about uh, improving athletic performance. Um, and it brought me to a book that I read. It was a good book, um, came out last year by Christy Ashwaden. It's called Good to Go, what the athlete and all of us can learn from the strange science of recovery. Um, and so it was a fascinating book, just uh, talking about some of the evidence uh, behind recovering from athletic performance or working out, etc. So uh, I like to dive into a couple of the topics discussed in the book. Uh, I dug a little bit further in, and I uh, did some more research on some of these topics uh, and came up uh, with my recommendations. So the top two things I want to discuss today is uh, what's the best way to hydrate after working out? Uh, and the second thing would be, what's, uh, do you really need to replenish your protein and carbohydrates right after uh, working out? Um, so this idea behind sports drinks uh, started with Gatorade back in the mid-1960s, 1965. And back at that time, uh, hydration uh, of athletes wasn't uh, thought of. Uh, nobody uh, thought that you know, athletes should be drinking water between sports. Nobody was concerned that athletes didn't pee during these performances. So in the heat, or when they were really strenuous exercise, uh, sometimes the athletes wouldn't perform well. And so scientists at the University of Florida uh, said, well, you know, you lose a lot of water when you work out. You sweat that out. You sweat out um, uh, electrolytes, so basically salt. Uh, and you use enough energy, sugar. So they came up with a mix of some sodium, potassium, uh, sugar mixed with water. Uh, and this is what we know as Gatorade now. And it led to the whole sports craze. Um, they claim that this hydrated you better than water. Uh, some small biased studies that showed that, uh, but you can find just as many studies that refute that. Um, and so really, there's no real good evidence that you need these sports drinks. Your body is extremely well at adapting to working out uh, and being temporarily dehydrated and losing some of those electrolytes. You have a reserve to replenish that. Um, so uh, it's not a big deal to get sports drinks. Uh, you can hydrate just as well when you're getting water during and after working out or athletic performance uh, and eating afterwards. You'll pick up all those same electrolytes. Uh, but we all watch those commercials. I want to be like Mike, drinking Gatorade. Um, and so, you know, people in, uh, are very susceptible to advertising. So you think you need those sports drinks to work out uh, and to recover, which is, which is false. Um, so only even after... A real strenuous two hours or more working out running a marathon uh would you even need to replenish uh those electrolytes uh, you know more quickly than other times um and you know you can use that again by just drinking water and eating food if you don't have access to food right away sure you can have one of those sports drinks if you've been working out more than a couple hours real strenuously uh, but for the most part you don't need that so uh drink water drink when you're thirsty or a little bit before that, there's no need to overhydrate either where you just drink uh, preemptively a ton uh, because that can cause a condition called hyponitremia when you, uh, your body has too little sodium because it's been drinking too much water. So, you know, listen to your body, drink when you're thirsty. Uh, if you know you're going to be working out in dry, hot conditions and for a long time, you know, you might drink a little bit extra there. Uh, you don't really need to add drinks to electrolytes uh, to that. You can just eat afterwards. Alrighty, uh, so the next topic uh, I'd like to go into is, you know, the replenishing carbohydrates and protein uh, right after a workout. So generally thought that, you know, you see people in the gym, as soon as they finish their last set, they got their protein shaker ready, chugging it down because that's going to uh, help with muscle recovery. Um, so in actuality, uh, if you look into the research, uh, as long as you replenish your carbs and protein within five to six hours of working out, and that's even can be before or after, um, there's really no, no uh, necessary benefit to doing it right after workout. Uh, now, the sooner you do replenish carbs and protein after workout, uh, you can maybe recover a little bit quicker if you have to work out again the same day. So if you're a high level athlete or you're working out twice a day, uh, then, you know, sooner is better than later. Uh, but you can easily achieve that just by eating uh, a healthy meal with some complex carbohydrates and a little bit of protein within 30 minutes to three hours of eating. Um, if that if it's easier for you just to get a protein shake, that's fine. Uh, I'd recommend getting a vegan protein blend. Uh, uh, at least maybe have some dried up vegetables and uh, and herbs in there just to make it a little bit healthier. Um, a whey protein shake is an alternative. You really only need probably about 15 to 25 grams of protein max. 
um, after working out, uh, which is probably even on the higher end. So you don't need as much protein as you think. Uh, protein is probably more important for bodybuilders and muscle recovery, more endurance athletes. Uh, the carbohydrates is going to be more important. So um, do you need protein shakes? No. Do you need to do it right after working out? No. But if you're going to be working out twice a day, you want to get it in sooner rather than later. And for everybody else, you just want to eat a well-balanced meal with some good protein, good carbohydrates uh, within five to six hours of working out. Um, so maybe an hour and a half, two hours before you've ate a little bit or uh, within a few hours afterwards. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I'll delve into more of these topics later. And of course, if you have any injuries that are holding you back from working out, uh, then Centennial Show specializes in the treatment of those uh, musculoskeletal sports, athletic type injuries. You guys take care. Have a good day.